college readiness rubric, so the CCR, um, has changed a little bit, a little bit this year. Um, we have kept the academic behaviors where you will be um, judging yourself at least twice a year to see where you are in the self-discipline category, attendance, um, if you're taking advantage of the academic support that we have here or at Cape Fears North Campus, um, you'll be judging yourself based on 0 to 20 and see where you are. And be honest. Don't go through it fly through. You need to be honest with yourselves. This, this is solely to help you. Um, the next one we have down here is the cognitive skills. You have all seen this before. You're looking at how well do you communicate via writing or via talking with others. Uh, how well is your research skills, um, your accuracy, problem solving, interpretation, or analytical thinking. As I said before, you need to make sure that you're being honest with yourself and possibly seeing growth. That's the whole point. The new thing this year is the college readiness rubric checklist. Now, for freshmen and up, you will start here, start meeting with the CDC, which is Ms. Grable. You'll start looking into how to get students learning hours, um, how to make sure you get your CPR training in because it is a state mandate that you have to be certified in order to graduate. 10th grade, in, 10th grade you're looking at what your GPA possibly is. Uh, you'll be taking the plan, get your plan scores, what clubs have you taken, making sure you're taking the active placement and so forth. 11th grade year, you'll be looking into your class rank as well. You'll be taking the ASVAB, making sure you've taken the ASVAB as well as the ACT. Making sure you have done the junior paper because that is a state mandate as well to graduate. Also making sure that you're getting your service learning hours in as well as your camps, job shadowing. This checklist for each grade level is nothing but a way for you to make sure and keep track of that you're accomplishing everything that you need to accomplish in order to graduate with a high school diploma. Any questions, comments, or concerns, please come see me, come see Ms. Ryan, come see Ms. Wall. Anyone, any one of your advisors can help you out.